God, the creator of the universe, wanted someone to share his love with who would love him back. He created the first man and woman, Adam and Eve. He didn't want a forced love relationship, so he created them with a power of choice. Unfortunately, they used their power of choice to disobey God by eating from the forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden. When they disobeyed God, they sinned and their relationship with Him changed. They became separated from Him. God could have left their relationship broken or He could do something about it. So, He made a choice to restore His relationship with humankind by sending His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to the world to do for us what we could never do for ourselves. What's that? To pay the penalty for our sins so we could be restored to our relationship with God. You see, everyone ever born has sinned, and sin separates you from God. And the consequence of sin is spiritual death and eternal separation from God. God didn't send Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Saved from what? Saved from the penalty of sin and the sentence of death and eternal separation from God it brought. The Bible also says that with our heart we believe, and the result is righteousness. We believe what? We believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that three days after He died on the cross for your sins, God raised Him from the dead. When you do that, Jesus exchanges His righteousness for your sins. Now, when God looks at you, instead of seeing your sin, He sees you covered with the righteousness of His Son. Today, you can restore your relationship with God and exchange your sentence of death for eternal life by embracing His forgiveness and making Jesus the Lord of your life. Why not do that now? Just pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose from the dead and are alive today. I invite you to be the Lord of my life. Please forgive my sins and restore my relationship with God as my Heavenly Father. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, congratulations! God has a new life full of joy, hope, and peace for you, starting right now.